answer. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be The world awaits to receive you. As we talk about when you vote, sometimes you don't get what you want. I really think that Florida uh, Governor DeSantis, DeSantis really set everybody up. I think he really set everybody up. I think people thought that they were going to go to Florida and have some damn freedom. I did too. And he said, boom, shaka laka. Not, not today. Let's get to what the teachers are saying in Florida because they're having this big argument, big issues about um harmful educational content that can't be shared as well as critical race theory. Let's listen. Oh, that's ridiculous. Butterfly in the sky. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm going to have to stop that because you know they're going to give me a copyright. So basically, this is a teacher in Jacksonville, Florida, has emptied the bookshelves in compliance with the new law requiring all books be re reviewed by a media specialist unless they are approved by the state. This is a new bill. This is why we need to know how bill is constructed and how they push through the system so y'all can stop it. The HB 1467 law, it ain't, he, he signed it into law. It passed already. Oh, shoot. Signed by Governor Ron DeSantis to allow teachers to be charged with a third degree felony if they knowingly or unknowingly provide access to books deemed harmful to minors. First and foremost, who's making that determination the books are harmful to minors? Media specialists or educational child development specialists? Do y'all see what's going on here? Do anybody see that that is a serious problem? This is exactly what happened during the last two years when they were telling everybody, the news was telling everybody what to do. And me and nurses were in the hospital experiencing something else. But we gonna leave that right there. So what they're saying is that media specialists are going to be the ones that oversee what educational documents are actually given to kids. Let's go a little bit more deeper into this because this shit is getting a little ugly. This shit is getting a little out of your hand. Look at this. Can we hear anything? The school's mission was to be inclusive by adopting an open admissions program that wouldn't discriminate based on race, creed, national origin, or cultural status. It was a novelty in a state that was once part of the slave-owning Confederacy. Today, New College of Florida ranks number three in the Princeton Review of public colleges and universities that make an impact in the community. The school only has about 700 students, many of whom identify as non-heterosexual. In fact, that's one of the specifically inclusive things about the college. Students get to decide their gender identity without judgment in the state of Florida. You probably see where this is going. New College of Florida has become the new target of Governor Ron DeSantis and his culture war. He thinks that because the school is funded by state taxpayers, the school ought to have a conservative identity, mm. a conservative Christian identity, which is not what it has had or has ever had. And to carry out this mission, Governor DeSantis has appointed six new members to the new college's board of trustees, including Christopher Rufo, a conservative activist who has led the battle against critical race theory in public schools across the U.S., and Matthew Spaulding, the dean of Hillsdale College, a conservative Christian school that is serving as a model for DeSantis's plan to take over higher education in the state of Florida. These men, along with four others of DeSantis's picks, now make up the majority of the board of New College, and they are not wasting any time. This afternoon, they held their very first official meeting, but before it even started, the end game was clear. Uh, the legislature has agreed to authorize immediately 
15 million dollars for new college for recruiting new faculty and for scholarships uh, for students and so you're going to have a situation where you're going to be able to go out recruit people to come say hey here's the mission here's what we're looking to do i mean you have people asking how do i apply that money the 15 million dollars the governor was talking about that is to hire new faculty for new college in that same event, Governor DeSantis announced new reforms for higher education in Florida, ones that will eliminate diversity, equity, and inclusion, and critical race theory, and make sure that, quote, core courses are rooted in Western tradition. Mm. Sitting next to Governor DeSantis was Christopher Rufo, who just hours later carried out the governor's mandate by immediately calling for the abolition of the new college office for outreach and inclusive excellence. Rufo claims that diversity divides people. One of the items that we discussed, that I discussed today with Governor DeSantis and with legislators present, is that diversity, equity, and inclusion, uh, which sounds great, but in practice uh, divides people and offers separate judgments on the basis of race and identity. <laughs> My opinion does matter, actually, unfortunately could, for could you. I mm. All right. So um, all of that goes to say. All I want to say, homeschool, 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 home. Take your babies home, black people. And I'm just going to leave it like that. Going to sing my way out that segment. Because it's a whole lot of drama about what they're going to be teaching your kids. And you still ain't got nothing to say about it, but you voted him in. Uh -huh. Can I get an amen to a homeschool? Well, we're going to move on for that. But Would you like to learn a brand new and innovative way to invest your extra money that has a low barrier to entry and low competition? What if I told you that it is a guaranteed method to get up to 18 to 20% return on your investment? Tax lien and deed purchasing is the only way to get into the real estate market through the back door. No credit and no loans needed. This method isn't commonly taught and therefore the competition is very low for now. We put together a 14 hour info packed course which will teach you everything you'll need to know to get started. Learn at your own pace, step-by-step, -step, guided video and aids to start you on the TLC deed investment process. The course offers many learning tools for new investors, helping ensure you safely invest in tax liens and deeds. Contact us today and join the buyback team.